Welcome to this tutorial on setting up a Laravel application on AWS using Elastic Beanstalk. In this session, we'll walk through the process of creating a virtual private cloud VPC, configuring an Elastic Beanstalk environment, and deploying a Laravel application. Let's get started. Log in to AWS. Open your browser and navigate to the AWS Management Console. Enter your AWS credentials, account ID, username, and password to log in. Create a VPC. Once logged in, use the search bar to look for VPC and select it from the list of services. On the left panel, click your VPCs to view the list of existing VPCs. In the upper right corner, click on Create VPC. You'll be navigated to the VPC creation page. Choose VPC and more, a simple way to set up your VPC. Give your VPC a name, e.g. My App. Leave the IPv4 CIDAR block as 10.0.0.16, which provides a wide range of IP addresses. Set the number of public subnets to 2, we only need 2 for now. Set the number of private subnets to 0, not needed at this stage. For the VPC endpoints, select None. Click Preview and then Create VPC. Once created, click View VPC to review the configuration. Create an Elastic Beanstalk application. Go back to the search bar and search for Elastic Beanstalk, then select it. Click on Applications, then choose Create Application. Name your application, e.g. My App, and click Create. Create an environment. Select Web Server Environment for the Environment tier. Name your environment, e.g. My Ash V V1. Select PHP as the platform since the application is built on the Laravel framework. Ensure the platform version is set to PHP 8.4 running on 64-bit Amazon Linux 2023. To upload your Laravel application, simply upload the zip file containing your project. If you're following along, the full source code is linked in the video description below. Feel free to download and use it in your own project. Click Next to continue. Configure Service Access. We need to configure a service role for Elastic Beanstalk, an EC2 instance profile, an EC2 key pair. Create a service role. Click Create Service Role, which will take you to the IAM console. Use the default settings and click Next. Review the policies. Click Next, then name the role. You can use the default. Click Create Role, return to Elastic Beanstalk, refresh the Service Role dropdown, and select the newly created role. Create EC2 Instance Profile. Click Create Role, use the default settings, and proceed. Review the attached permissions. Click Next, name the role or use the default, and click Create Role. Return to Elastic Beanstalk, refresh the EC2 Instance Profile dropdown, and select the newly created role. Create EC2 key pair. In the AWS console, search for EC2 and select it. On the left sidebar, click Key Pairs, then create a new key pair. Name it something like My App Key. Return to Elastic Beanstalk, refresh the key pair dropdown, and select your new key. Click Next to proceed. Configure VPC settings. Choose the My App VPC created earlier. Select the public subnets you created during the VPC setup. Set up the database. Select the subnets where you want the database to reside. Enable the database. Choose MySQL as the database engine. Provide the database username and password. Click Next. Configure instance traffic and scaling. Leave the default settings as they are. Click Next. Configure platform settings. Under Platform Software, set the document route to slash public. Laravel apps serve content from index.php, which is located inside the slash public directory. Leave other settings as default then click Next. Review and Launch. Review all the settings and click Create. After a few minutes, your application will be deployed and accessible via the default domain provided by Elastic Beanstalk. Configure database environment variables. In the Elastic Beanstalk console, go to Configuration on the left sidebar. Edit the Monitoring, Logging, and Updates section. Scroll down to Environment Properties and click Add Environment Property. Add the following, env, copy edit, db connection, myski host, your RDS endpoint, db port, 3306, db database, ebdb, db username, myapp, db password, myapp, myapp. You can retrieve these values from the RDS management console. Click apply. It may take a few minutes to propagate the changes. Once done, your Laravel application is fully integrated with the RDS database. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Happy coding.